Uh, hi, uh, good morning. Uh, today we'll be learning about the working of a turbocharger. So uh, here we have uh, actually uh, stripped a turbocharger. So let's see the dismantled view of a turbocharger over here. We'll be uh, identifying all the internal components of the turbocharger and uh, we'll see how a turbocharger actually works. So uh, this is uh, the look this is how a turbocharger actually looks like uh, so this is the exhaust uh, side and uh, that means that where the exhaust gas is entering the turbocharger and this area where the fresh air is being sucked and uh, delivered uh, to the inlet manifold of the engine so let's uh, see uh, look the turbocharger from the right uh, hand side from this area okay so you can see you can clearly see at the center here this black veins over here is a turbine so we are looking the turbocharger from uh, this direction so this is the uh, turbine very clearly it is black in color because this is a used turbocharger and um, uh, the carbon deposits uh, are visible over here so this area as you can see is connected towards the uh, exhaust manifold of the engine that means the exhaust air enters the turbocharger through this direction and it comes and hit uh, the veins of the turbine here and it escapes through the silencer through this area uh, so let's open this cover so here you can see a clear picture of the turbine so this is how it actually looks like here we can clearly see the veins uh, the angle of the veins over here so this is how uh, the exhaust gas is uh, coming from the uh, exhaust manifold uh, and hits uh, the turbine resulting in the turbine to rotate in an anti-clockwise uh, direction after the turbine uh, rotates the exhaust gas escapes through the silencer towards the atmosphere so that's simply what the exhaust gas is doing or this is how an exhaust gas is powering a turbocharger so this turbine attains a rpm uh, and this rpm is transmitted uh, towards the fins or the blades of the compressor that means the compressor blades have been powered with the help of uh, this rpm which uh, is produced uh, by the velocity of the exhaust gas uh, hitting it uh, so this is the uh, uh, compressor casing and you can see the compressor blades over here so uh, this is a port where the uh, fresh air from the atmosphere is being sucked inside uh, towards the turbocharger and been compressed inside um, this casing and is being supplied through this direction towards the inlet manifold of the engine uh, so let's see how actually um, the uh, fresh air is being sucked and get compressed inside this area so we have removed uh, this uh, casing so let's see these uh, uh, fins or the uh, veins of the uh, compressor very clearly so this is how actually uh, it uh, looks like uh, here you can see a much more clear picture so uh, as the uh, turbine over here uh, rotates that rpm is reflected over here so as these uh, uh, compressor uh, blades rotate it sucks fresh air from the atmosphere through this direction and the fresh air enters uh, uh, the uh, uh, compressor blades and it gets compressed when it passes through these veins because here the area is getting reduced over here and you can see a channel um, of these veins so as it enters here the air get compressed and it is supplied towards the inlet manifold of the engine through um, this area so um, this actually can give you a clear exam uh, explanation about how it works so we have opened both the covers so uh, both the turbine and the compressor blades are visible over here so exhaust gas is coming and hitting the turbine here which helps the turbine to rotate and after that the exhaust gas escapes out through the silencer towards the atmosphere so what is left behind is the rpm uh, uh, produced or um, attained by the turbine due to the velocity of the exhaust gas hitting the turbine and this rpm is transmitted to the compressor blades through a shaft connected in between that means the turbine and the compressor blades are connected uh, in between with the help of a shaft so um, these compressor blades rotate 
due to this design of these veins it sucks the air that means the fresh air from the atmosphere and it has been compressed inside uh, the casing of the compressor uh, and the compressor blades and has been transmitted or been supplied through this direction towards the uh, inlet manifold of the engine so when more compressed air is uh, reaching the inlet manifold of the engine the inlet uh, engine will be capable of uh, combust or uh, burning more fuel inside uh, the inlet manifold which facilitates the engine to produce more power or uh, more torque so that's how simply a turbocharger is providing a boost uh, with the help uh, of producing uh, with helps the engine to produce more power or more torque so this is a, a dismantled view so here we have uh, the turbine we have uh, the compressor blades so this is the compressor casing and this is the uh, turbine casing so uh, i hope uh, you simply got the idea of uh, how a turbocharger works and uh, the internal components of a turbocharger for other automobile or mechanical engineering related related videos or tutorials you can visit my YouTube channel www.youtube.com public tech fix info or you can uh, visit my uh, blog www.techfixinfo.com. Thanks for listening.